Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Ayaztec. In our previous video, we installed WordPress using Docker Compose and today we are going to set it up a notch. We will be integrating Tailwind CSS into our WordPress theme. If you missed out our Docker Compose tutorial, then you can find it in the Docker or WordPress playlist. So why WordPress CSS with WordPress? Tailwind CSS is a utility first CSS framework that makes designing responsive interfaces a breeze and integrating it with the WordPress can seriously supercharge our development. So let's dive in and we will start by setting up Tailwind CSS. First of all, I'm going to show you that my WordPress is working here that I can access. And this is the default theme that is currently active. You can look at that theme name as well. So here you can see we are currently using 2021 that is currently active. Now open your editor where your WordPress is available. Uh, in this WP content folder, go to the themes folder and open the same theme that, uh, that is currently activated. So this as this one is currently activated, so open it and copy the relative path because I just want to go into that directory in the terminal for that use CD CD and press enter. Now you can see that I am in that folder. Now we need to initialize the NPM project in that. So for that use NPM in it minus Y that would initialize uh, an NPM project that you can see. But if it is already initialized, uh, you don't need to do that. In my case, it was already initialized. There is a lot of things in there. Now you need to install the Tailwind CSS for that open the documentation and from there just copy these commands and paste in your terminal and once it is installed copy this one so you can see that dependency has been added and now if you add this command it will initialize the Tailwind CSS with the new file in your directory tailwind.config.js so after that, if you want to make any change, you can do that. So for example, here you can mention that which one is your source directory. So let me copy it and replace it with that. This should match with your working directory. So right now we don't have any source directory. So I think we can just uh, remove it and just have it like that. Okay. Now I uh, copy this code and uh, create a new file somewhere here, stalewind.css and paste it here. After that, we need to run this command. Instead of running it directly here, I would uh, create a script in the package.json file. In the script section, create a command start tailwind and paste that command. Okay, and here you can see that it is uh, using this path. I need to fix that path. So our tailwind file is tailwind.css that is in the in the current directory and I want to use the current directory to build it. So you can say that tailwind, it can be any name, whatever you prefer. Now run this command, save the script and run it npm run. Okay, now it is running in the watch mode and you should notice that the output file should be created. If not, then maybe you did not add any style yet. That's why it is not being created. If I make any change in the header, so for example, here I would add BG red, save it. After saving it, you can see that tailwind dot underscore output dot CSS file has been generated. You need to enqueue the style sheet in the WordPress. So in your themes functions dot PHP, make sure you enqueue that style. So open the functions dot PHP somewhere, create a function and Q styles and use WP style and give it the name. I would say tailwind dash style and you get template directory URI and then concatenate it with the name of the file that you want to use to inject in your WordPress. So I want to use tailwind underscore output dot CSS at the end, pass an empty array and then give it a version. Any random version would be fine. And then you need to call a function that is add action WP and Q. So yeah, here you need to give the name of the function that you created here and make sure to add underscore here. Now let's try it again. Reload it. There must be some mistake. That's why it is not working. All right. We did some mistakes here. So very first mistake is that uh, we must have to add slash here. And also we did not add the semicolon. Save it and now reload it. So in your Tailwind CSS uh, config file, you need to add PHP here as well. 
uh, we need to fix this path so here you need to add so you can customize this uh, these options as well if your uh, file path is different or maybe you have multiple folders that, way that you want to consider okay now let's try it all right you can see that the tailwind css is working now you are all set now you can start using tailwind utility classes directly in your themes php template that's how you can integrate tailwind css with wordpress now you can leverage the power of tailwind to style your wordpress sites and if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you found this tutorial helpful then don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video